hi guys welcome back to kitchen colony let's make some jamaican rice and peas and i hope you have been enjoying what i've been presenting to you so far and on this channel i try to find creative ways in which we can prepare and enjoy the meals that we're so accustomed to i try to do that so that it suits different palates but it is still yummy and still tasty and a quick and easy way to do it also I'd like to thank my subscribers and my viewers for supporting my channel it is really appreciated traditional Jamaican rice and peas is a flavorful rice dish cooked in coconut milk and various spices and this is served at least once per week in a Jamaican household it is mostly cooked on Sundays and served with any meat kind you like or a vegetable stew. In many homes, it would be served with chicken, famous fricassee chicken. And if one didn't know, they would believe that rice and peas and chicken is our national dish because it is often cooked on Sundays. Now we're going to make some rice and peas and you to make we call it rice and peas but we actually use kidney beans now you can use any beans you want bungo peas black beans whatever you like but in jamaica we always use the red kidney beans i'm going to measure out some of the beans but normally i don't do this but to give you an idea of how much i'm going to use i'm going to use a measuring cup that's one cup i think i might use a little bit more a cup and a half will do Depends on how much people are cooking for, but I'm cooking for about five people, so I don't need more. The next thing we're going to do is wash our beans properly. Because sometimes our beans come with stones and stuff. And I usually put it in a strainer so that anything that is at the bottom will go, go in to the next container. And if we have any bad ones, we pick them out. So we're going to wash our beans properly. Now we're transferring it to the pot. And then, traditionally, we soak our peas. And we usually soak it overnight, but at least five hours. And we do that for a few reasons. One, some people get gassy after eating the peas. And two, some people have heartburn. And thirdly, we soak to make it tender. So I'm putting at least three cups of water. I'm going to cover it. Allow it to soak overnight. Now after soaking our peas for a good while, over, about 10 hours, but the lowest is five hours, this is how it looks. Now at this point you can throw off the water because if you are suffering from gas after eating red peas or you have heartburns, this is the water you throw off. If not, you cover it and take it to the stove. Allow it to boil until it is tender. Now here are the rest of the ingredients for the rice and peas. I would have loved to have a dry coconut but I can't so I'm using a tin of coconut milk, some green seasoning, scallion or you, you know they call it spring onions here a nor cube or stock cube I'm going to use a piece of this pepper and there's a must you always have to have a green pepper for your rice and peas because it gives a flavor then I'm going to use some garlic pimento berries and some fresh thyme now here I have a little bag, it's like a tea bag, and I'm going to put my season in it, the smaller items, and maybe the, uh, got the garlic, because when you're ready, you can move, remove them easily. Here you have it, my seasoning bag is now ready. 
Now, after an hour, a piece is cooked. And let's, let's test it. Yes, it breaks. So it is now cooked. Time to season. First thing, I'm going to put my seasoning bag here. So this is able to extract the seasoning. I'm going to add my Norcru. Scallion. And my green pepper. Now it's time to add the coconut milk. Or the coconut cream, I should say. Teaspoon, add two teaspoon of green seasoning. Now it has been boiling for about 12 minutes and I'm going to add a little butter. It's time to put the rice in. I've washed three cups of basmati rice and I'm putting a tablespoon and a half of butter in. Then I'm going to add it about a tablespoon, less than a tablespoon of some seasoning. I call it my salt because it's very salt. So it's a it's all-purpose seasoning. And then to balance the flavor, I'm going to add a little sugar, stir, and I'm going to taste to see if I need a little bit more salt. Then I add my rice. Three cups. Now we stir. We stir our rice. And allow it to cook until the water goes down. Now I'm looking for my seasoning bag. And it's on top, so I'm leaving it on top. Now the water has gone down, I've, I'm going to adjust my stove to low, very low, and allow that water to steam the rice. And I'm going to cover, allowing it to steam. Now steaming after about 20 minutes, adding a sprinkle of water sometimes, it is now finished. So I'm removing my season bag and taking away the scallion and then I'm going to fluff the rice. I'm going to move this four time, fluff the rice and start again. Here we have it. Shelly, rice and peas. This is a typical Sunday dinner at um, in Jamaica. Rice and peas. Now here you have it, fluffy, flavorful Jamaican rice and peas, served with fricassee chicken and a salad. Enjoy. Thank you for watching my video. And if you have not yet subscribed, please remember to do so. And if you've enjoyed this video, then please remember to give me a thumbs up as this helps to promote my video to others and also it helps to grow my channel. Thank you very much again for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.